Okay, let's look at another scenario. High frequency rate in the cold magnetized plasma. Uh, basically, we're doing the uh, ordinary and extraordinary waves. Uh, it's in the case of K perpendicular to B naught. So, for K perpendicular to B naught, we know that th this expression is theta. It's basically the angle between the K and B naught. So, we will set uh, theta equals uh, pi over 2. We know that uh, a pi over 2 uh, tangent theta goes to infinity. So, in, in other words, we basically have 1 over tangent theta equal to 0. So, this denominator will become 0, or or in other words, they, this, either this is zero or this is zero. Um, so we're left with this, those two solutions. Uh, and we uh, have a, we're dealing with a high frequency, so we assume that omega is greater than omega p, the plasma frequency. So for now, we're just neglecting the, the ion, ion response, or ion, ion term. Um, so we have ordinary, Wave and extraordinary wave. You can just solve it by plugging it in uh, and do that to some algebra. So ordinary wave is pretty much there's a magnetic field, uh, background magnetic field, and the electric electric field is the the perturbed uh, electric field is oscillating this way and propagating. And the uh, extraordinary wave is is propagated like this way. I'm sorry, it's not propagated, it's pretty like the electric wave is this way, pro propagating all, all perpendicular. Uh, so we make uh, the extraordinary wave a little bit nicer by giving uh, different notations, uh, omega 1, omega 2, omega h. h is, uh, uh, I believe, is alpha hybrid. Yes. And uh, this is in so if we plot it out, we have the red lines, extraordinary wave, and two branches, and ordinary wave. We have two two lines that are uh, guiding those two waves in a way that like those two those two those two lines will getting uh, close to the omega equals to k over the kc. As we know, at a low wavelength, uh, a small wavelength, then we pretty much, the, the light wave doesn't see the, see the medium, so it just acting like light wave. And uh, at, the, at the other branch, it getting close to the omega h, which, which is another cutoff. So, because because of this, as you can see, if if omega getting really close to omega h, then k will, k k will blow up. So if just getting close but not on the on the omega h. So yes, this is the ordinary wave the white one and the extraordinary way the red ones.